Hey YouTubers, this is Charlie. Happy Valentine's Day. Since Hannibal is coming back really soon, I thought it was time to do a big preview for Season 2 because there's been a lot of changes since Season 1. I will be doing weekly videos for each episode whenever it comes back. It's going to be a Friday show this year. There'll be 13 episodes total. Be sure to subscribe to get everything if you are finding me for the first time. So let's break things down this way. First I'll talk about the characters and then I'll talk about the episodes. One of the coolest things about Hannibal is that each episode corresponds to this really gourmet meal. Everybody grab your forks and let's dig in. The biggest change from Season 1 is obviously the reversal of Hannibal Lecter with Will Graham. Will is institutionalized, like Hannibal will be eventually, and Hannibal has taken Will's job consulting with the FBI. Based on the trailer, it looks like they're not wasting any time in someone else learning the truth about Hannibal being the real serial killer. The image of him attacking Lawrence Fishburne with a knife was one of the first things they released. One of the big issues I had with the trailer though is the idea that it could all be unreliable narration. A lot of last season was spent debating on whether or not Will Graham was hallucinating things and whether or not his memories were false. I don't think Brian Fuller would pull a huge fake out on the trailer, so I do think that Hannibal will end up trying to kill Jack Crawford. Unless they deviate from the original canon, he's still alive during Silence of the Lambs, which means that he won't end up dying this season. The big arc of season 2 though is Will Graham coming after Hannibal with a vengeance. I really love how the show finds ways to mirror imagery from Silence of the Lambs, especially with the finale. So think of Will Graham right now as like the Anthony Hopkins character helping the FBI catch Hannibal, who's kind of like the Buffalo Bill. I don't think he's going to be making any people's skin suits though. A lot of the early episodes this season though will have to deal with Will getting Alana, Beverly, Abrams, and Crawford to believe him again. I have to say though, of all the supporting characters, my favorite, you know, aside from Gillian Anderson, who is just flat out amazing, is Scott Thompson. Hugh Dancy said that when they're on set, Scott makes them laugh so hard, even when they're filming the bloodiest of scenes. Every time I see him on screen, all I can think about is kids in the hall though, it's so hilarious. One of the best parts of Hannibal, I think, is that you know how the story is going to end. So Brian Fuller and the cast delight in allowing things to unfold in these really fascinating ways. Style and cinematography are a huge part of the show too, which is a good intro to the episode titles. I'm just going to do a breakdown of all the episode titles and what they mean. So everybody open your cookbooks to page one. Episode 1 is titled Kaseke, which is actually a meta term. It's both a multi-course Japanese meal and it refers to the types of skills necessary to prepare high-level cuisines. This is actually where things get really interesting. All of the episode titles this season are titles of the different courses of this Kaseke meal. So think of season 2 as like one single meal with 13 different courses. Right now we only know details on 8 of those 13 episodes. But since each of the titles derives from these 13 different courses, we can kind of guess what the missing ones are. So we don't know the official titles for episodes 2 or 3, but episode 4 is titled Takawase. This course is actually vegetables served with meat. Episode 5 is titled Mukozuke. This course is a sliced dish of sashimi. Brian Fuller actually posted a picture from the editing bay of Hannibal swimming. Episode 6 is called Futomono. It's a soup dish. And there's another behind the scenes picture of Mads in it. Episode 7 is called Yakamono. It's actually a flame broiled dish served in pottery. Episode 8 is called Suzakana. It's a course that's meant to be a palate cleanser, like vegetables and vinegar. Episode 9 is titled Shizakana. This course is a really big dish served in a hot pot. It kind of implies something really big is going to be happening in this episode. We don't know anything about episode 10, but episode 11 is called Konomono. It's a dish of pickled vegetables. We don't know anything about the final two episodes either. But like I said, you know, all these different titles derive from this Kaseke meal, so we can kind of guess what the remaining episode titles are going to be. Sakazuke is called the appetizer, so I don't think they'll use this title because they already have the episode 1 title. Hasun is the second course, which implies they'll use it for episode 2. Hayashibachi is another one of the dishes, and it's only served during the summer, but it's just another vegetable course. Nakachoko is another course, it's also a palate cleanser. Gohan is a rice dish. Tomewan is a miso based soup dish, and the only other course that they haven't used as an episode title is called Mizumono. It's the dessert course. But like I said, the only one of those that I listed that I don't think they're going to use is the appetizer dish. As the episodes start, I'll discuss the relevance of each title to the meal and the story in each episode though. That's one of the really cool stylistic touches of Hannibal, is that the title tends to imply what the action of the episode is going to be. They also tell you what those literal meals that Hannibal will be preparing during the episode are, which are both amazing to look at and make you sick at the same time. So my next Hannibal video will be next Friday. I'll do my top 5 moments from season 1. Be sure to subscribe to get it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Happy Valentine's Day to you all, whether you're cooking something or someone. Right now, click here for my Game of Thrones foreshadowing breakdown, and click here for my Walking Dead Episode 9 review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.